One of my favorite things in the world is biscuits, fresh biscuits. Um, combine that with bacon and eggs and cheese and I am one happy camper. So today I'm going to make a breakfast biscuit braid. So I've got my pan on the stove already started, um, but the first thing we got to do is scramble some eggs. So I've got two tablespoons heating up on that stove. I have eight eggs and I have a half a cup of heavy cream. Now if I were not adding this to something else and I was just scrambling eggs for the kids, I would add um, salt and pepper. But since I'm adding bacon and it's going inside of a biscuit, they have enough salt. I don't need to add any more. I'm just going to whisk this together until we break up all the egg yolks. And it turns a nice pale yellow color. And then we'll move on to the stove. Now, one of the things that you can add to this if you want to make your eggs more flavorful is green onions. Which I happen to have one sliced here that I'm going to add to this. You don't need the green onion, it's not necessary, it just adds a little bit of extra flavor. And now we're ready to scramble. So I melted two tablespoons of butter on medium heat in a non-stick uh, griddle pan. And now I'm just going to pour my eggs in. And then I'm going to gently stir while they cook. So it only takes two or three minutes and once the um, eggs are mostly cooked, we're going to remove them from the heat, let them sit in the pan so they finish cooking, and then they'll cool down. So you see how there's just a little bit of moisture left? Now is the time I'm going to spread them out in the pan and just turn the heat off. And I'll let the heat that's already in the pan finish cooking them, and then we'll let them cool down. Our eggs are cooled off, so now it's time to make our biscuit um, base. So I have two cups of flour. I have three teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just going to stir that together real quick before I add my flour, my butter and shortening. Now I have three tablespoons of cold butter. And I have three tablespoons of cold shortening. Now we're going to cut those into the flour mixture until it resembles like pea size or coarse sand. So you want to break up the shortening and the butter within the flour. And you can do this by hand. If you don't have a mixer, a pastry blender works just as well, just like you're making pie crust. So I've got a few big chunks, but the majority of it is broken up. So now I'm going to add to that a cup of cold buttermilk. And now it's time to roll out our biscuit dough. So the first thing I need to do is sprinkle flour on my station. We've got to get a base, otherwise the biscuit dough that we have is going to stick right to it. Now I'm just going to put a little extra flour on here to get it all to where I can actually roll it out and it's not just sticking to everything around me. So you need about another half a cup of flour.
So once you get it to a point where you can manage it and it's not sticking to you at every turn, we're going to put it on our cookie sheet. And then I'm going to clean up this mess and show you what we do next. So our next step is to flatten our biscuit dough into a rectangle. As close to a rectangle as you can get. flour. Okay, so we have our rectangle. The next thing I'm going to do is take my eggs, put them right down the middle. Don't spread them out too much. You want them just in the middle because we're going to cut the sides of the biscuit and braid it. So there we have our eggs. And then I have six slices of bacon that I have chopped up. We're going to sprinkle that over the top. And again, you want to keep it in the middle because we're, we're going to cut the sides of the biscuit and fold it over. And then I have a cup of cheese. We have Colby Jack. You can use whatever you like, um, just as long as it's shredded. And you may not need a whole cup. It's about a half a cup. Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut diagonally in quarter inch, about a quarter inch strip from the side, from the edge, on both sides. And you're going to cut them on a diagonal and then we're going to fold over. So I take this one and fold it to here, take this one and fold it to meet. And we're going to do the same going forward. I alternate when I do it so that this side is on top and then that side is on top. And if your biscuit breaks apart, just piece it back together. And there we go. So we're going to keep doing this all the way down. And then at the ends, I just fold up like this. On both ends. And then we're going to bake this in a 450 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Our biscuit braid is out of the oven, so last thing to do is take three tablespoons of melted butter. I have a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of parsley. I'm going to stir those together. And then I'm going to take my pastry brush and I'm just going to brush this along wherever there's biscuit. It helps to keep the biscuit moist.
And then, because we are a family who loves cheese, I'm going to take the last of our, the other half cup of cheese that we have and just sprinkle it over the top. 